Welcome back to round two action. Macy Callahan taking on Joanne DeFay. Well, let's get things started. Joanne DeFay already up. Coming around the corner on a stretched out wall here at Jeffreys Bay. Representing Reunion Island in a crazy detonation zone in there. She takes her down aggressively at the start of this heat. Macy Callahan getting a call up once again because of the injury of Paige Harem. We knew she was so bummed out that she'd miss out on this event as she recovers. Hope to see you back very soon. Joanne getting the first wave here, Potts. Uh, yeah, just a couple of quick turns there from Joanne DeFay. And as this white wave gets a bit of white water there, just a tricky exit for Joanne DeFay. Goes down hard and literally gets held under for quite a period of time there, Joe. She's injured her knees in the past. And she'll be diving into the whole story of the medical team to see how severe it really was earlier today. But... Having to withdraw in this round two heat earlier today. Up and riding, Macy Callahan. She's had a few warm-ups in the CT jersey this season. Crushing that section. Lighting it up down the line. Little float, and she'll step off. So positive signs for Macy Callahan. And a cool part for Macy is she's gone through the nerves of being in the championship to her jersey quite a few times now. She... She knows how to separate that cell, herself from all that energy and really come here to compete. Absolutely. I'm uh, really enjoying watching Macy Callahan surf. She looked good in uh, round one, just unfortunately didn't get through, but kicking off her heat here with uh, some beautiful turns. It's going to combat that 3.83 that Joanne DeFay got. I think she's going to push it out a little further. Some big turns there from Macy and showing some commitment right at the end as well. So... You can see her digesting the advantage of getting more time spent on this venue into the later rounds of competition. Catching up to the cutback of Macy Callahan. Snaps it off the lip. Nice sweeping move. So a couple of combos there. And the Australian just looking for an inside track. Fighting back. Macy Callahan dropping a 3.27 on this occasion. Joanne DeFay answers back with a 6.67 joke. A seesaw battle here in round number two around these uh, top seeds just do not want to be in. Macy there kicking out of that inside. So a 3.27 for her and a 6.67 for Joanne. That's better. Moving down the line is Joanne DeFay. The wrapping turn hits that oncoming section. Driving with a beautiful top turn arc. It's going to double up for DeFay. Now the lip showing up. Jams it. Showcasing that power. Another one off the top. All oh, the rocks showing up, and she's got to get out of there. Wow. Great execution, Potts, on those last couple of majors. And looks like her board's in perfect shape. In front of the injury replacement wild card. Let's see what happened here out the back for DeFay. Yeah, first opening turn. Very important here. And Joanne DeFay just trying to find some rhythm in amongst all the lump and bump and that onshore wind providing a, a bit of chop on the face of the wave. So Joanne bringing it through the inside here little jam in the pocket and finishes right on the inside she goes again back to this one at j bay head the other direction on her forehand flowing through the first point extended bottom turn nice connection off the roof another great section to climb wants a little bit more clean snap finding a great point there and attacking the end section so managing speed so well, way before the 6.67 extended her lead, and now the 3.83 is long gone. You know, and that's uh, part of the, the criteria that we got from the head judge this morning was managing your speed correctly. You know, you've got to go into those turns at full throttle. The, the biggest set waves with the, with the wind involved were super tricky to ride, but Joanne DeFay absolutely nailed this one. Picked a more of a medium inside one. Look how clean it is on the face. And that allowed her really to hook into her turns nicely. Showing some variety, showing that speed, power, and flow. You can see her assessing the, the situation as she moves down the line, just looking over her shoulder and how close she was to the rocks, analyzing that and going for it at the end, finishing strong. And look at the score, Joe. But Chris was in the heat with a fiery rookie named Caroline Marks, which is changing the game. So a super heat coming up next. Flowing down the line is Macy Callahan. Trying to find a point to hit. Little snap down the line, not trying to push too hard. Wipe it real quick off the white water. Another float down the beach for Macy. 
And she'll sneak on out of there. So she's trying to break down a 9-3-4. Her best so far, a 5-3-3. And what a dream to get the call up once again to compete. She's been getting the call up repetitively because she came really close to qualifying for her own spot. Just missing out on a rookie year this season, but with Courtney's injury, we got to see her through the Aussie leg of the tour. And now having her here once again since Paige hurt herself in Cabo. I was, uh, I was having a chat to Coco after her first heat and she was touching on the fact that her wave selection was horrible, but she fixed that up in the next round and got nine. So it's all about catching the right wave out here. Nice little snap for Macy. Look at the bump and lump on the face of the wave. So it's really making it a lot more difficult for Macy to really hook into her turns and make them dynamic like Joanne DeFay did on that 8.0. So for me, you know, the first and foremost thing is to get yourself on the right wave. Let your talent do the rest of it. Once you're on that wave, uh, let your surf and do your talking. But it's so important to catch that right wave. And is it the first wave of the set? I don't think so. You let, you let that one go through. And what it does is it kind of cleans the lineup up and it, and it sort of makes that next wave or two a lot smoother, a lot easier to attack. 10.30 to go on the clock here. Joanna Fay out front. Macy Callahan looking for an answer here. Clean turn. Big section attacking it well. Oh. Onto the left hook. She'll just step off. That's that challenging end section that can surprise you. Like a sneak attack into really shallow water. See all that power unloading on the bricks is still pulling her up and down. So she's got a couple of those now. Loving the look of the open face out the back on this one, Potts. Yeah, better, better uh, sort of smoother wave. So they allowed Macy those first couple of turns. Unfortunately, they're just a little bit late to the party and it takes her down, but really impressed with those first maneuvers, that first one especially. Her last score coming in, a 4.0. So nothing changing there as DeFay takes off. DeFay sets up a rooftop float. She's really deep. So she's got to get out of there. Nothing changed to her total out front. 8.30 remaining before we get to the heat with Carissa Moore and Courtney Conlog. And obviously the world-class waves with coming mm -hmm. was a big attraction for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. As we see waves uh, coming around the corner, Macy Callahan. Patiently waiting to get out in front. First turn, a whitewater jam. Oh. Great timing off the lip. Macy with the windup. Bit more vert over the top of that whitewater section. Drills it again. So showing a lot of patience, great timing throughout that last effort to break down the 934. Beautiful combination of maneuvers. Uh, even that first turn, it was sneaky good. I mean, she got a, a lot of projection and almost kicked the tail out halfway through that maneuver. So Macy Callahan fighting her way back. Just over four minutes remaining, so not over yet. I mean, she can drop something up into that seven plus range, which I think this is where this one might go, Joe. Let's have a look at this first turn here. A little white water bang, and you see that tail almost release, which was amazing. And then there, she's found the sweet spot on this wave, that's for sure. And she's just going to town. This wave kind of had a really good pace for her, allowed her multiple opportunities to score, and she took advantage of that, Joe. Great surf in there from Macy Callahan. And that was the last opportunity. So Macy getting the call up, doing a great job to put on a great show. A couple of big fives, six, nine, three on her last wave is going to feel solid. And Joanna Faye still feeding off the momentum for the win at the Uluwatu CT. 14-6-7 total as she's off and running into the third round.